I'm a firm believer that being, having a public company when it's ready to be public is a huge advantage. Uh, it gives you strategic optionality, and optionality is valuable. When you have a public security, you're able to do things with that public security, like raise money, do acquisitions, compensate people, um, in, 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 that, that, that offers strategic flexibility and strategic optionality is, is, is valuable. Now, the downside to being a public company is you have to report every quarter, and a lot of people, especially here in the Valley, think that that's like uh, you know, some awful thing, like some torture fest, and you know, we shouldn't pay any attention to these investors, and you know, screw them. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that, and they, they demand all this short-term stuff. Well, for weak companies and weak leadership, or you know, professional manager-led companies, that's, that, is, that is the case. But the, company, the public companies that I'm involved with tend to be run by founders. All of them are, are run by founders. Uh, sometimes, as in the case with Zilla Group, we have uh, a class of stock that gives us voting control. Uh, and those, those enable us to behave uh, more like a private company and make decisions for the long, for the long term. And the shareholders that, that, that know us and believe in us can come along for the ride long term. Even if we have to do short term things that hurt profitability, uh, they know we're doing it for the long term because we're in it for the long term because we control the company. And so I believe having a, a founder-led company that, or founder-like-led company that has some, some control provisions to, to, to uh, free, people, free, free these companies up to make long-term decisions is the optimal uh, combination, personally.